Hi Fashion Files, thanks for joining today. We'll give it just a second here, let a few others join. Um, I, we're coming to you live from our headquarters in San Diego, Carlsbad, which is um, located in San Diego County. It's a beautiful sunny day, I'm happy to be here. Uh, let's get started. Um, I hope we have some Hermes fans that have joined us today. Uh, my name is Lara Osborne. I'm the Senior Procurement Director um, of Handbags and Accessories at Fashion File. Um, and I wanted to uh, bring a couple exciting pieces to share with you all today. You may recall uh, that recently um, we had a, a holy grail of all handbags um, hit our new arrivals. Uh, we've had a few of you asking for some more details on this special piece. So I thought I'd bring her out today in all of her glory um, and do a little luxury show and tell. Um, this piece has only been um, brought out, it is brand new, it's only been brought out um, for uh, photography and of course authentication, which we hold very near and dear uh, to our heart here at Fashion File. So let's just dive right in. I present to you the Hermes Matte Niloticus Crocodile um, Himalaya Birkin, 30 centimeter, which is the mid-size, um, and the colorway is uh, blanc or white. So let's just go right in. Let's let's first and foremost, let's talk about the color on this amazing Birkin. A lot of you may have um, uh, been familiar already with the Birkin. Um, the Crocodile Birkin is one of the most coveted skins of all Birkins. Um, this one is the Himalaya Crocodile Birkin. Um, this is not an albino crocodile. This is actually a freshwater Niloticus crocodile. They do come from Africa. Um, this is a, a special dye process that's used to create this light, light, light color. Um, look at how, look at that beautiful white color. I mean, just shockingly stark white. And then at the sides here, you see these beautiful scales. So these are hand shaded. This is a dye process that takes many, many hours. The skilled artisans that work on this piece um, definitely have their work cut out for them. These scales are beautifully um, shaded in, in tones of gray and brown. Um, it does take many, many hours to achieve this process. This is wearable art, wearable art. So look at the base here. This is one of my favorite parts. If you're familiar with the Hermes Himalaya Birkin over the years, not many are made, only a few come out each year. You might notice that some of them have different um, color uh, darker, a little bit more um, rich tones. Um, you may also notice that some of them have um, the, the coloration that continues from here on the sides all the way down the base. This one's um, different. We'll see this more in recent years, a, a production of this model, is we've got this beautiful white stripe that goes horizontally down the base. Um, no two bags are alike because of this hand shading process. Of course, each skin is unique as well. So you're not gonna see any two bags that look identical. This coloration uh, continues down the handles. Um, you'll always see slightly different colors um, on the front versus the back. Um, these craftsmen, they definitely know what they're doing. Um, the idea is um, symmetry, harmony. Um, you definitely wanna get um, the scales colored precisely so that this bag, again, like I said, is definitely a wearable piece of art. One of the most shocking things that's really hard to describe and maybe doesn't even show up on camera as well as it does in person is the luxe matte finish. The thing that takes my breath away is the complete lack of shine on this skin. It is just matte, 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 which really highlights the beautiful coloration. It's not reflective. Um, it also kind of makes it a little bit easier to handle. Um, in that you're not so worried about fingerprints like on the shiny finish. Um, this is the matte finish. This finish is actually achieved. Let me get a little bit closer, see if you can see. That's just so beautiful. This finish is achieved with a wool felt. So the artisans will rub this felt on the skin continuously and that really just kind of brings it this nice like ultra luxe matte rich finish. Um, and you'll see that continued throughout. We're not going to open it today. Uh, the interior does have a matching um, colored lining um, of the gray tones. So it's actually a goat skin lining, which is what we see in most Birkins. Um, and it is a nice gray shade, um, but it's just a solid leather throughout. The interior does.
come with two pockets, so standard um, Birkin uh, has a zipper pocket and then it also has the large flat pocket. Um, this is the midsize. Some people prefer the larger models. If you're really tall or you're plus size, you might think the 35 centimeter is right for you. The 30 we found is really, really popular size in all Birkins here at Fashion File. We've sold many, many, many Birkins over the years. The midsize 30 centimeter is always a, a hot model. Um, we have seen these in the 25 centimeter. Um, those are really cute, same look, uh, just a little bit shrunken down. Um, those may be a little bit more um, evening or just for fun, or if you're filling out your, your holy trinity of Himalaya Birkins, the 25 centimeter, 30 and 35 centimeter. So this midsize model is really great for, um, for you know, just kind of a, a midsize addition to your collection. Um, I want to tell you what Hermes quote um, says, precious skins are, uh, they do not like to live the life of excess. It's so true, couldn't be more true. This bag um, is, is definitely not meant for every single day. Um, this coloration is, is going to stay intact if it stays away from too much sunlight. Uh, you definitely want to handle it with care. Um, if you're, you know, got any lotions or perfumes, um, try and keep that away from the bag um, because over time you will start to see um, that the finish and the coloration might start to change a little bit. Definitely a bag that can be worn, but when you're not um, wearing it, definitely advising that it gets um, stored in its sleeper dust bag um, in the Hermes box um, if possible. Those boxes are really created just perfectly for this bag to be stored for for a while, um, the, uh, the, the uh, paper stuffing in there is perfectly placed. Um, the dust bag um, is loose drawstring closure. That's gonna keep um, a lot of moisture out. Um, you don't wanna store it in any place that's too hot. Definitely don't wanna store it in some place that's too cold. Um, just a dark sp space in your closet when you're not wearing it is really all it takes to keep this in great shape um, for many years to come. Um, we've, we've seen these with uh, palladium plated hardware, just like this one. We've also seen them in white gold um, with full diamonds. Um, this model is a little bit more affordable. It's currently on our website right now. It's more affordable, but for, affordable than the diamond version. Um, so if you're interested, please go check it out on fashionfile.com. Um, We've had a couple Hermes Himalaya Birkins in the past. We've even had an Hermes Himalaya Kelly in the past, but never before today have we had both at the same time. So the luxury show and tell continues. May I present to you the Hermes Kelly return in the Himalaya. This is the 28 centimeter model. Um, this is again the Blanc or white colorway and look at this gorgeous Kelly. Look at that coloration, just like the Birkin. Everyone is a unique wearable work of art. No two are gonna be alike. Again, that super matte, luxe, rich finish. Look at the shading on the side here. Every scale has just been expertly dyed um, to really have a, a unique, breathtaking finish. The mat, again, for me, that just takes my breath away. It is just so beautiful to see. Um, you've got the white handle, um, where on the Birkin we had the darker handle, so I think that's a really great um, difference between the two on this particular model. Just really pops. Um, again, on the base, you have the same as we saw on the Birkin, that really beautiful white stripe that runs horizontally down the base. Uh, we do have the, the crocodile leather covered padlock, and again, we have the same leather um, clochette or bell. This is where it houses the keys um, for the padlock. Um, and it's a matter of preference how you want to wear your Kelly or your Birkin. Um, some people prefer to leave it um, styled just like this. The lock and the, the keys and clochette definitely add value. It's definitely a full set when it's got it all. Um, the difference between the Kelly and the Birkin, for many of you that um, are probably aware, if you are an Hermes fan, this is something that you're already screaming at the camera right now, um, the Kelly does come with the shoulder strap. So again, made of the beautiful Himalaya um, colorway in Blanc. Um, this one is the shades of gray and brown. Um, it does have the two matching palladium clasps. This, Birk, uh, this Kelly may actually be a little bit more um, coveted than the Birkin. 
it's really a matter of preference. You may find that the, the shoulder carry is a little bit more elegant for you. It may suit your needs. It may be kind of what you're dreaming. Maybe you already have um, a couple Birkins and you're, you're looking to just kind of ramp up your collection. So the Kelly is a little bit more versatile in that regard. Some people find it to be a little bit more formal looking. Um, definitely can be carried by hand. Um, you can carry it on your shoulder. Um, if you're petite enough, you may be able to pull it off carrying it cross body. Um, but we're so excited that we actually have both um, on hand right now. The Birkin is actually available right now on fashionfile.com. The Kelly is coming soon. So please go to our website if you're interested. Visit fashionfile.com. And thanks again for visiting. Nice to see you all. Bye.